So we're a few minutes away from Frankie's Free Range Meat, and this might actually be the last day in the first facility we've ever been in. I know I've been telling you guys for like months and months and months, you know, we're expanding, we're getting into our new facility, but you know, delay after delay after delay, you know, we finally signed the lease, we're getting refrigeration built, and, and it's just crazy thing after crazy thing. Like, this guy that was supposed to do our refrigeration had like $20,000 of our money for like months and months and months. And literally the day before we finally get in the space, the guy that's supposed to install the refrigeration in the freezer has a heart attack. Like, I can't make this stuff up, guys. I really can't make this stuff up. Uh, but you know, with all the like crazy stuff that's happened, me and my business partner were just like, yeah, whatever, it was expected to happen. You know, it was expected that, you know, the one guy we chose to do our refrigeration has a heart attack, but, uh, but, but things should be still, you know, moving along, moving full steam ahead. I'm just beyond exhausted. Like, I'm so sick of this, you know, Toyota Corolla nonsense. I'm looking at these, you know, these new Wi-Fi antennas on all these apartments. You know, I know we're going to be locked up for another year, year and a half. Everyone just accepting what's going on. Uh, it's getting more and more and more discouraging how, uh, you know, we're kind of screwed in a sense, but I kind of just have to put all that stuff aside and and focus on things myself and try to help as many people as possible. You know, it's not really the Toyota Corolla stuff as much as it is um, how much YouTube is like kind of preventing my videos from getting views. Like my video yesterday was so censored, it was ridiculous. All of my videos, any topic I make, anything I talk about, it's just like they just shut me down instantly. Um, it's incredibly discouraging to, you know, kill yourself working two, three, four hours a day to make videos every day for two, three years now. And this is what this is how they treat me. Not only that, I'm spending, you know, my own money on advertising. It, it's just ridiculous. It's just incredibly discouraging. But um, I mean, even just going in, you guys can see why you know we're getting a new facility. We literally have, you know, our styrofoam and our packing boxes stored outside, and just inside, you know, the storage is. You know, we're trying to utilize like every square inch, basically. Boxes everywhere. So today is actually the day after Memorial Day, which is significant to us because. UPS, FedEx, post office was all closed yesterday. So we got to ship all of our orders, or at least most of them today. Uh, because normally we, we try to prioritize getting everything out on Monday because, you know, despite paying like a ton of money for shipping, like two day or three day express on a Monday, sometimes the packages still get held over the weekend and then, and then we just lose a lot of money. So we're gonna try to get just about everything out today. And I'll uh, keep you guys posted throughout the day, but hopefully this is the last vlog in this EMF hellhole of a facility. Is the lead paint coming soon? Did we order the samples? Uh, that I'm, I'm still trying to figure out. One product I was trying to get you guys for a long time was really high quality grass and marrow bones that are affordable. Uh, so let me know how you guys like our product. We have the, you know, the pipe cut marrow bones, and we also have the the canoe cut marrow bones that are, you know, a bit easier to work with depending on the preparation. So if you guys haven't tried our bone marrow. Grass fed is definitely one of the best things you could ever try. So go to a local farm, try ours. So it's about 11.30 now, me and Mike have just been filling some orders. And I wanted to show you guys the pemmican because on Memorial Day, Adam and Mike were down here all day processing stuff, making pemmican. Uh, I was actually at my parents' house packing orders myself. So it's not that I wasn't working, I just wasn't down here working. So we made 120 orders of pemmican. And if you guys haven't seen our new bars, you know, they're about half a pound each. And this is literally your calories for the day. Like, it, it's the perfect survival food. It's not perishable. I know we packed it in an awful lot of plastic, but, you know, this stuff melts very easily. So, I know a lot of you guys were asking about the pemmican. It is back in stock now. Uh, you guys can get it. And honestly, it'll probably be sold out in, like, a day or two. So... You know, people tend to buy like 10, 20, 30 of them at a time. But if the pemmican's a little too expensive for you guys because it's made from beef, uh, we are going to get some other like type of protein materials uh, that we should have available for you guys within a week or two. Uh, so definitely keep an eye out. I will make a video on that. So if you guys want to hold off on buying the pemmican for, you know, a couple days to a week, uh, then uh, we should have some other stuff for you guys too that might be a little more affordable. It has a long finish. Uh, as you keep eating it, the flavors keep developing. That, that's a sign of a high quality. You guys hear that? Our cheese has a long finish. Uh, just like my Sunday. As many of you know, we sell raw cheese on Frankie's Free Range Meat. And 
this one cheese importer that we've never bought in cheese from keeps trying to like reach out to us and sell us this like cheese like for way too much money and now you know they're sitting on all this inventory so they have all of this old expired cheese but like i keep talking to this girl because it's like she's french and has this like really hot accent so she'll go like what, what was she what what did, what did i say she said to me she was like i have all this cheese and you were like S send it over <laughs> oh my god hey i got a bunch of rotten cheese okay yeah send it over the list i'll see how much i can buy. as long as she said it with a french accent <laughs> we're down the main thing I'm looking forward to immediately for you guys in the upcoming month or two is expanding our beef inventory. So not only are we going to be carrying several more cuts of beef like hanger steaks and possibly some other stuff, we're going to be selling like whole briskets, whole short ribs, chuck rolls, bellies. We're going to be selling much larger portions and cuts that we weren't previously offering. Uh, so that's going to be the main goal of like the next month or two is is just to really expand our beef inventory, our selection, be a little more a la carte. You know, right now, like if you guys want to buy, you know, New York ship filet and ribeye, you have to buy a premium steak pack. You know, if you want to buy filet, you have to buy, you know, a whole filet. So we're going to try to add a couple more products, a little more variety, uh, mainly for the beef right now. And as we move into this new space and uh, we see how things go towards the end of this year. Uh, you know, right now the focus is really let's keep this going for a few months and we're going to try to get on a farm property by the end of this year. Uh, so as soon as we get on that farm property, that's where the eggs, the dairy and a bunch of other things are going to happen. And uh, and we can shift more towards, you know, 100 percent local products. Maybe not. Um, it, it's up in the air. You know, right now we sell a lot of local beef and we sell other things that are more affordable. And, and we're really just trying to provide people with you know, high quality animal foods that are reasonably affordable. You know, we're not all about local beef. We're not all about this. We're not all about that. We just want people to be happy and healthy. So, you know, regardless of where we get the beef from, you know, if, if New Zealand Wagyu is the best tasting steak in the world, I'm going to sell it. If Iberico pork from Spain is the highest quality, best tasting pork in the world, I'm not going to buy some like American corn and soy fed nonsense and try to sell it to you guys because it's local. That's that's not what I'm gonna do. And there's been a lot of like disinfo and people trying to discredit and there's a lot of misleading marketing out there. But you know, when people taste our products, there's a reason, you know, all of our customers return and, and they spend a lot, a lot of money with us. So we, we do really appreciate that. But you know, we are providing a product that no one else has. Uh, we're looking at properties in New York that are around 100 to 200 acres. Now I'll keep you guys posted on that, um, but it, it looks like it's really gonna happen. You know, I know I told you guys that the farm doesn't look like it's going to happen until next year, but, uh, you know, with how things have shifted, uh, with how the loan is a possibility now, uh, you know, we thought we had to wait a little bit longer for the loan, but we'll see. You know, I'll have a, an update for you guys in a couple weeks. So it's a little bit after one o'clock. Uh, we're just wrapping up, finishing the orders. I uh, just wanted to show you guys, you know, the Wagyu short ribs again. I think we're actually sold out. Uh, I'm just like super excited and happy that you know, we're offering such high quality animal products for you guys. Uh, literally no one else online is selling stuff this quality, let alone this price. You know, for any of you guys wondering, I do pack a lot of the orders. Um, you know, all the products and all the meat and everything has been approved by me. You know, but I'm not always the person that, you know, puts everything in the box. And, you know, as much as I would like that to be, I can only, you know, spread myself so thin. Uh, this is actually the... Um, the raw cod liver oil. I'll show you guys this. This is something I'm really proud of too. Yo, where, where's the cod liver oil in the fridge? In, or which freezer is it? So this is the raw cod liver oil. I know I showed you guys this. This is it, right? We're, this is sold out after this, right? We have seven jars left. So we have seven jars left. Uh, I don't really want to show you guys this because it's going to sell out and you guys aren't going to have it for a few months. But you know, no, no one sells this stuff. This is raw cod liver oil without anything added to it. You know, literally just oil itself. So it's a quarter to two. We just used up most of the ice. What do we do, like 65, 70 orders today? And then we're gonna do another 60 orders tomorrow. So you guys are gonna have your packages by Thursday and Friday of this week. I mean, that's really it for today. Uh, you know, as I said, hopefully this is the last time uh, I'm vlogging in uh, this facility. It might not be, we might end up doing uh, one more vlog although it's unlikely and then we'll just film like the move over and and getting in the new space so uh, if you guys are curious about any of the products we have you can go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com 
And I mentioned organ supplements. I also have Frankie's Naturals. And uh, if you want to know why you should be incorporating these foods into your diet, you can check out frank defamacom where I have a free meal plan, uh, you know, free carnivore diet mistakes, as well as a very affordable book and an affordable carnivore diet course. And if you guys do want to reach out to me for personalized help, that's also available on frank defamacom Thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, hopefully you're doing okay and uh, getting some sun. It is nice today, but uh, Frankie boy was stuck inside the one nice day this week, but uh, that's all right. Um, see you guys soon. You guys are wondering why I'm breaking out. It's because I haven't slept in like two days. <laughs>